Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog here, and this uh, this lesson is called Division and uh, the Distributive Property. So we're going to do some um, uh, distributive property, but using division this time. So our essential question is, how can we use the distributive property to find quotients? Remember, quotients just means division. So remember the distributive property, if we had 4 times the quantity 10 plus 6, we're going to put the 4 through 4 times 10 plus 4 times 6. Do you remember doing that? Okay, and then 4 times 10 is equal to 40, and 4 times 6 is equal to 24, so 40 plus 24 equals 64, okay? So if we had, say, for example, 4 times uh, 16, because 10 plus 6 is 16, we can break that 16 up into 10 plus 6 and then use the distributive property, okay? So we're going to do that with uh, division. We can use the distributive property to break apart uh, numbers to make them easier to divide, okay? So here's an example right here. So let's outline a rectangle on the grid that models 69 by uh, divided by 3. Okay, so what we're going to start here first, you guys, is since we're dividing by 3, then let's make a rectangle that has width 3 to show 69 squares. So this is going to be my width 3, so be patient with me while I count. Here's 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'm going to go by threes now, you guys. So 33 for this row. Okay, 36 for that row. 39, 42, 45, 48. I'm just adding three. 51. I want to go up to 69, you guys. So there's 51, 54, 57, 60, 63, 66, 69. So there's going to be my square right there, okay? So, uh, or my rectangle right there. There are 69 squares right there, okay? And they have a row of three right there. So how many groups of three did we make to get the 69 squares? So how many rows of threes did we make to get the 69 squares? I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. There's 23 rows. So the answer is 23 right there, okay? So a long way to do that is 69 divided by 3 is to make a big rectangle, and we get 23. All right, let's, let's uh, break it up and make it an easier problem, you guys. Think of 69 as 60 plus 9, because 6 I can divide by 3, no problem. So 60 I can divide by 3 also, just add a, a 0 to it. 9 I can divide by 3 also. So I can do, instead of having 69 divided by 3, I can replace it with 60 plus 9. 60 plus 9 divided by 3. Okay, so uh, there is, um, uh, we're going to break this up and make it, uh, so here's one that has 60 squares right here, and here's one that has... Um, uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, 60 squares, and this one has 9 squares, so here's my 60 plus 9 right there, okay? So, um, uh, so we can label and shade the smaller rectangles to use different colors, okay, there's that right there, and then so this one has 20 rows of 3, and then this one has 3 rows of 3 right there. So each rectangle models a division. So 69 divided by 3 is going to be 60 divided by 3 plus 9 divided by 3, okay? And 60 divided by 3 is 20 because 6 divided by 3 is 2 and then add a 0 for that. So this is going to be 2 and then 9 divided by 3 is going to be 3 and that's what these numbers are up here, 20 and 3. So I'm going to put that right there and then 20 plus 3 is 23. Okay, so either way we get it, we're going to get uh, 23 on that way. Let's try another one, you guys. Let's outline another model to show 68 divided by 4. So I'm going to make um, a rectangle that has width of 4, okay? So, and then we're, I'm not going to count them right now, but there it is right there. So there are 68 squares right there, okay? And if we count up all those 68 squares, how many groups of 4 can we get? Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, okay? There are 17 right there. So 68 divided by 4 equals 17, okay? But we can uh, break up the 68 and make it 40 plus 28. 
because 40 is easily divided by 4, it's going to be a 1 with a 0. And then 28 is easily divided by 4. 4 times 7 equals 28. So I get, um, this is 10 when I divide it, plus uh, 7 right there, which is 17, okay? So if we broke the model up, we'd get uh, these two little rectangles. Here's my 40 squares, which is a 4 by 10. Here's my 28 squares, which is 4 times 7 right there, okay? So 10 plus 7 will get us that 17 right there, okay? So 68 divided by 4 is the same as 40 divided by 4 plus 28 divided by 4 which is 10 plus 7 or 17 okay so 68 divided by 4 is going to be 17 no matter what so we can break this number up into the sum of smaller numbers that are easily divided by this number right here okay so explain how uh, uh, each small rectangle models a quotient and a product okay so in that in that first example with 69 equaling 60 plus 9 the first rectangle modeled the product of 3 times 20. 3 times 20 gave me the 60, and then this model represented 3 times 3, which gave me the 9. And so because the inverse relationship of multiplication is division, then what we could do is it also models the division of 60 divided by 3 is 20, and then uh, 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 the smaller rectangle uh, represents 3 times 3, which is 9. Whoops, I have 0 there. This should be 9. My 0 key is right next to my 9 key. That should be a 9 right there. Okay, so uh, this is 60, so 60 divided by 3, okay, and just think of this. This number divided by 3 is 2 with a 0, so 20. This number divided by 3 is 3, so 20 plus 3 right there. So that's what this model represents right there. Okay, uh, compare your answer in the first quotient of 69 divided by 3. There are your two answers, okay? Well, we got the same thing, you guys. Above, we got 23 due to the 23 groups of 3. Here we got the same answer, but we broke up the quotient uh, from uh, 69 to be in 60 plus 9, okay? And so here's my 60 squares, and 60 divided by 3 is this 20. And here's my 9 squares, and 9 divided by 3 is this 3, so 20 plus uh, 3 is also 23 right there, okay? All right, nice and easy, isn't it, you guys? Okay, so to find the quotient of 91 divided by 7, would it be easier to break up 90 plus 1 to break up the, the dividend? Whoop, there should be a D right there. My AP students keep telling me I, I misspell things, and I just my fingers get typing too fast right there. So would it be easier to break up this 91 as 90 plus 1 or 70 plus 21? Well, it depends on what we're dividing by. And since we're dividing by 7, I would pick these two numbers because these two numbers are easily easier to divide by 7 right there, okay? So I would pick 70 plus 21 because 7 goes into 70 10 times and 7 goes into 21 3 times. So 10 plus 3 would be 13. The answer to this uh, quotient would be 13. Here, let me change this thing right here. All right, and then I'll save it in just a minute here, okay? I hope that helps you guys and hope you're having a fantastic year. Take care.